Ito ay credit card from ng East West. Kanina lang siya dumating, guys. And I think last week ko lang siya in-apply yan. Online ako nag-apply. So, kung nahihiya kayo, pumunta ng banko para mag-apply ng credit card, pwede nyo yung gawing online lahat, guys. Basta kompleto lang yung documents. Yung nag mag-deliver ay hahanap po ng ID. Kung authorized representative lang yung mag- magre-receive, eh dapat meron ding valid ID. Tapos meron siyang authorization letter from you. East West JCB Platinum Card. Silver. <laughs> Pero kung nag-water ka, kung talaga may, talaga bang may kaya yan. So, ayan. Hindi naman talaga ako nai-expect na ma-approve ako dito eh. Kaya, paano ako nag-apply ng credit card online dito ka East West Bank? So, for... Hi guys! So, thank you so much for tuning in. So, for today's video, paano ako nag-apply ng credit card sa kay East West Bank? Bank. Of course, this video is not sponsored and is, it's based on my personal experience and ultimately, um, approval will still depend on the bank and the information that you um, submitted. So, I'm going to share this experience para makapag-prepare kayo ng mga documents, what you, uh, what you need to do, how to apply, and the rest guys, ha, dapat complete ha, kasi kung complete yung documents mo, then you also get a higher chance of being approved for the credit card. Your credit history also plays a huge part kung ma-approve ka o hindi. So, be sure na kapag nag apply ng credit card, wala po tayong mga existing na major na mga loans, wala tayong mga credit card na hindi nabayaran, and that increases our chances of getting approved. It also helps sa meron kang deposit um, sa bank na yun, but if wala, it's okay. All you need to do is just provide what the bank will ask you. So, paano mag-apply ng credit card? sa ka East West Bank. Actually, guys, you know one of those emails na pumapasok dun sa promotion sa Gmail? So, I got an email from East West Bank na sabi na get approved online, yung application is online. So, instead of clicking the link, pumunta lang ako dun sa website ni East West Bank and I went to credit cards and dun, let us help you find the best credit card that fits your lifestyle. Although, uh, meron silang list of cards na pwede mong pagpilian, eventually, si bank pa rin yung magde-decide kung bagay sa iyo yung credit card na yan o hindi. So, kung hindi ka pwede dun sa credit card na in mo, then baka bibigyan kanya ng ibang klaseng credit card based siya sa answer mo at saka sa background checks na pinerform nila. So, if you click apply now, guys, mag-open siya ng isang window which best works sa isang sa Chrome na browser and dapat um, updated. So, you can do it on your phones basta naka-Google Chrome lang yung gamitin or you can also do it on a laptop na merong um, good or quality na webcam. Other people also find success kung sa iPhone to ginagamit. So, just a quick tip, guys. So, pag-click mo ng apply now, it will open a different browser. Usually, naka-default sa Chrome. If not, please double-check na nasa Chrome talaga siya. Hindi siya messenger. Take note. It's a it's a browser talaga and it will show you na meron siyang um, valid na link. Ha? So, be careful of the links that you click. So, lalabas si Esta. Yung tawag sa chatbot niya your East-West System Tech Assistant. So, may get started ulit if you click mo lang yan. And then, when you click get started, yung first question na is, do you have an existing East-West credit card application? If yes, you want to complete an unfinished application or find out the status of a submitted application. So, since it was my per first time, yung sinagot ko is no. Thank you for your interest in applying for an East-West credit card. Before we proceed, I need you to read and consent to our data privacy policy below. So, yun, ikiklik mo yung read, tapos scroll ka because understood na yun na binabasa, na binabasa siya, tapos iniintindi. And then, tatanong niya sa baba, do you agree? And of course, dahil nag apply ka, then you click yes. Uh, which means you agree. So next is, may I now request you to read and agree to the bank's credit card application terms and conditions. So, syempre, dapat binabasa yan, kaya ikiklik mo yung read, and then pagkatapos, sasagot ka ng yes doon sa baba ng do you agree. So, bibigyan ka niya ng parang overview ng buong process ng pag-apply ng credit card online. Verify your mobile number. I'm sure most of us are already familiar with that. Submit your application information and requirements. In credit For applicants with no existing principal credit card, please prepare to submit a proof of income. So, very important po talaga to guys. And later on in this video, I will show you the new mga requirements ni bank. And then, if the question is not apl applicable, kindly indicate N slash A or NA. Follow the instructions po. Ready to go? Isasagot mo lang yes. 
And then yun, awesome. Now I need to verify your mobile number. Please enter your mobile number in this format. So susundin po yung format. Example na binigay ni East West Bank. Papadala siya ng OTP. Ibibigay mo yung OTP na yan. And then magpo-proceed na siya sa pag-collect ng information nyo. Now for security reasons, hindi ko pwedeng kuna ng screenshot yung mga following questions. But just so you know, um, para na rin siya, iniisa-isa niya. If you have seen a credit card application form, iisa-isahin niya yung mga fields na yun na itatanong sa'yo. So, each and every time meron siyang question, bibigyan ka niya ng format kung paano mo siya sagutin. So, please follow that. Pero, from time to time, magtatanong naman siya, did I get that right? Tama ba to? If not, no. Um, kasi pag sinabi mong no, pwede mo siyang ulitin. Pag sinabi mong yes, then mo proceed siya sa next question. So, hihingin niya yung first and last name mo, um, yung marital status, yung address, permanent address, billing address, or i-indicate mo if the same or if it's not, then um, yung source of income. Kung, basta it's similar to the credit card application form. So, yun din yung hihingi niya mga information kasi yung mga banko pare-pareho lang naman yun eh. And then, it will also ask you to take the facial verification kumbaga, or liveliness test. So, medyo mahirap yung liveliness test na part kasi parang nakailang ulit ako, guys, na parang nakakapiko na kasi turn left, turn right, and then smile, showing teeth, yung ganun. So, um, sabi nila, mas successful kapag iPhone yung ginagamit. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Yun yung sinasabi. Kaya, um, ilang beses ako nag-fail sa laptop at sa cellphone ko. Kaya yun, hiniram ko yung iPhone ng asawa ko. Since hindi ko mo napakita yung mga ibang info na hiningi sa akin kanina, so ito na lang yung gagawin nating guide, bale. So, from the top, sasabihin niya na to be eligible, you, know, you must be a Filipino citizen or dapat, or if foreigner ka man, dapat nakatira ka dito. And then, the principal applicant must be at least 21 years old. Minimum gross annual income must be 180,000 for East-West Classic. So, guys, just be conscious of the income requirements sa kada card na andito. And must have a landline or mobile phone. Buti na lang kasi hindi naman talaga required dito yung landline. Kaya yun, um, pwede na rin na may mobile phone and business landline. So, ayan, nilagay din niya yung mga residence. So, doon naman sa requirements for principal and supplementary card applicants, dapat nag-fill out ng form. Yung form na binabanggit ko dito is pwede na yung online na questionnaire na itatanong, mga series of questions na itatanong ni ESTA. Tapos, photocopy of one valid ID with picture and signature. So, ano ba yung mga valid IDs na tinatanggap niya? Um, company ID, driver's license, passport, professional regulation, commission, PRC, SSS, DIR, postal ID, etc. Basta mga government na yung issued ng mga IDs, pwede yun. So, in addition to those, kailangan mag-submit din na kung employed ka, for example, kailangan mo yung latest BIR form or yung ITR, BIR 2316 or ITR, um, Certificate of Employment stating breakdown of compensation, letter of appointment, so, uh, any any of the following siya guys sa uh, section na to. Doon naman sa self-employed, Latest BIR form yung 1701, yun yung ITR. Latest audited financial statement, if applicable. So, and then, valid credit card reference and latest month statement of account. Application pr process takes 10 to 15 banking days. Pero guys, yung maganda kapag sa online ka nag apply kasi mabilis lang siya. So, mga, I think mga total, including na yung pag-deliver ng card, was, oo oh, nga, umabot nga siya ng 15 days. So, okay na rin yun, ha? At least, um, I just, uh, with that, uh, na-happy na rin ako dun, guys. So, I hope na with this, familiar guys sa pag-apply ng credit card online. Subukan nyo if you think your credit score is good, you have complete documents, you have proof of income, and syempre, because um, yung credit card po ay isang it's a privilege. Hindi po siya right. So, dapat mag-exercise po tayo ng pagiging responsible na borrowers kapag nabigyan tayo ng ganitong privilege. So, I hope, uh, if I forgot anything or meron kayong i-share, just put it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!